Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and in today's episode, we are going to go over exactly what I have been doing in the last couple, or actually three days here. And basically, if you didn't notice, there's something really big missing <laughs> right over here. Uh, yeah, that's right. I took out the factory. I moved, completely moved the factory and warehouse over in that direction. It's in its own little chunk, if you will, out in the middle of the savanna. So it's in between the the, um, the base chunk here and the chunk where the um, first pillager tower is at. So that's that that took me literally like two days of gameplay to uh, move all this over there because there was a lot of stuff in here, obviously. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to connect this back up to the stairs over here. Uh, but rest assured, this is where this, the crop storage building is going to go. And then I plan on building either a bridge or a balcony over to this building here. That way, um, anybody that's trying to come over here and buy stuff from certain builders down on the lower floors uh, can do so easily. But for right now, let's take a look at what I have done inside the trader's post here. And basically, and this right here will be going bye-bye once I get all the villagers in here. That's what we're going to be working on today. So today we're going to be working on getting the farmers and clerics in here. This first floor here, this is going to be nothing but farmers. So all 12 of these will be farmers. All 12 of the top ones up there will be clerics. Now the reason for all the farmers is so that the field, when I get done growing all those crops, all those different types of crops over there, I can bring them over here and just start selling them to all 12 of these. By the time I've sold to all 12, it'll probably be time for another day to start. So that's my um, idea for that. For the clerics... What's going to happen with them, what I need them for, is the gold farm in the nether. We get all this this uh, rotten flesh, and uh, the, besides the gold, we get the rotten flesh and weapons and armor pieces that are gold that we can smelt down. I don't plan on selling the gold unless I absolutely have to or I'm in dire need of emerald blocks or whatever. But I really want to have enough clerics to be able to sell all that rotten flesh in one go, pretty much. Uh, without further ado, let's get uh, going on this. I have the extra cobblestone wall piece and the gray carpet to put on top of it once we get the each respective villager in there. Let's see if we can make this a little bit easier than we did the last few times that I've had to do this. Um, if you don't remember last time, the villager breeder, I kind of fixed it to where the villagers kind of don't get out in the open here anymore. Let's go close that gate again. So basically, uh, well, they, they kind of still are, but um, put a minecart down here, and then we're going to open top gate, bottom. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I want to open the gate. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to push another one into this other one. That's not working, though. It just exploded. There's so many of these guys. Look at them all. <laughs> this is the part that's difficult right here, is, is getting all these guys into mine carts. This is the hardest part of the game for me. It's just getting villagers to cooperate. So let's move some more down here, and then we'll just start putting them around the edge here. Okay, got another one in there. Another one. Go to the other side here. Close those. Okay, got him in there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the hardest part right there. Alright, see if I can't get him to... Oh wow, we even got some up here. Okay, you guys are in the way, so let's try to get them out of the way. 
Okay, got you. Got you. <laughs> that was easy. And if you're still watching this part right here, basically I'm planning on doing live streams on YouTube from now on. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you guys are available at that time, I suggest that you come out and check it out. Try to get these guys stuck in here. Get in there. Get in that mine cart. Get in there. There we go. And another one. Let's see if we can't push you off. Got him in there. Oh my goodness. He's just running right through it. <laughs> what is going on? Get in that mine cart. I have been cruel in the past and I have killed some of these guys because they get so... It gets so ridiculous trying to get them to get into the mine carts. Come on. Come on. Push. Push through. There's six of them there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. And we got plenty down there as well. There, I got another one. Try to use up all the mine carts before we start getting this thing going. The fun of catching villagers in a minecart. Okay, that might be enough for now because it looks like they're gonna start pushing each other around, and I don't need that right now. So let's uh, let's get on pushing one of these through at a time. It looks like. Go back. Go back. This, this is the part that gets really annoying, is having to run back and forth, but to switch the tracks. You technically don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but I just prefer to do it this way. Just gives me something to do with my time. So he should literally be in the first slot that I had hooked up. He is, okay. Now we can just push that off. Over there. up to the next one. I still have a lot of mine cards left to go yet too. Go ahead and put this down. I suggest doing this too so that way you can just jump in there and knock him out of the cart. So like but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna leave them in the carts, uh, go through and I'm gonna do each and every single one of these that way uh, until I got them all full down here and then I will take the tracks upstairs and lay them out like I did down here, up there, so that way we can um, have all of our clerics as well. Okay, finally got all of them in here for the farmer's lair, or floor. And I'm just now starting to lay the track down for the cleric side. So I might as well just go ahead and start doing that over here. On this side first, and then do the other side just like I did downstairs and uh, we'll fill this up and then we'll go from there alrighty everyone is inside so we have all 24 new villagers in their homes the first thing we're gonna do before starting to take up all this track and do a little cleanup is we're gonna get all the villagers out of the respective minecarts they're in and the easiest way for me to do that without accidentally hitting them is to hit F3 plus B and that will show me the hitboxes on the debug menu. Uh, it's very important to know that just so that way you can tell exactly where the villagers are 
uh, when you're trying to get them out of the boxes or mine carts, if you will. The, the box it shows you the the hit box of the mine cart and the hit box of the villager themselves. That way, you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting them and getting them mad at you, and you have to like feed them to get them to be happy with you. I'm gonna push the mine cart away from the bed, and then I'm gonna start to um, take them all out of their mine carts. Pretty simple. Makes it a lot easier, especially with a pickaxe, by the way. So I'm going to do that real fast on all the villagers on both floors, and then I'm going to start taking up all the track, getting rid of all that, and the blocks on the outside of the building, and we'll have the building all set up and ready to go. I went ahead and took up the tracks and stuff down here uh, after I got the villagers out of their minecarts. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually go ahead and store all these carrots in here take all the mine carts and stuff and store them into their own separate chest somewhere next to the villager breeder. That's where I actually got all these carrots at too in case you're wondering where I got them from. Because obviously that is a carrot farm. And I think I'm going to start storing these rails and uh, switches and stuff over there too. Uh, actually I do need a um, chest. That's going to be a thing that I'm going to do from now on. I'm just going to leave this chest over there and uh, have all these mine carts and the tracks and all that stored in it. So that way, if anybody needs to come over and use my villager breeder in the server, they can. Uh, and then I can just uh, grab all the stuff they need to take the villagers where they want them to go from right here next to the villager breeder. Just makes life a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up all this track, and then when I come back from that, get done with that, I will work on putting in the composters for the farmers at least, because we have the carrots for that specific purpose, because I want them all to basically be carrot farmers, and maybe some wheat farmers in here as well, but most, most of the wheat's just going to be stored up to use for the cattle out there. I really don't plan on having that many golden carrots, which it actually won't take that long to make golden carrots, and then I can just like have a whole storage set up of golden carrots as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting these tracks. Um, as a matter of fact, I just put that in there. And the levers. Grab those. And uh, put them up into that uh, chest. Finally got all of that taken care of. All the track is up all the way to the entrance. I left the power track in the first lever there, just in case anybody needs to connect the track back up from there to take villagers out of there. And I went outside the wall and got the magenta box that had all my magenta shulker box. It has all the supplies I need to build the uh, crop storage building. Uh, I'm planning on doing that on my live stream on Friday, so at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Hopefully I'll be starting on doing that. For now, let's go ahead and get started on the composters here. Go ahead and grab all these carrots so we can start getting these farmers set up, hopefully. I'm not gonna worry about the clerics right now because I don't have enough rotten flesh to finalize all of their stuff, but I don't even think I really need the rotten flesh to finalize all their stuff anyway, but we will check that out in a minute. First off, let's go ahead and start placing composters down here. Get these guys to change over into farmers. And he has potatoes and beets. I don't have any potatoes on me. That's the first farmer I've seen that actually had that as a thing, so I might actually have to go downstairs and... He's got wheat. getting dark out too, so I'm gonna have to sleep here before too long. <laughs> There's another one with beets. It's a killer. Let's see if it'll let me sleep. Yeah, there we go. Basically, I just want a majority of them to have the carrots for sale. Or, well, for trades. 
That'll be the easiest one for me to grow. It, it grows the fastest. For me, it grows the fastest. It seems like it does anyway. Uh, we can also sell watermelons and pumpkins later on, too. I know they can have carrots on the first, first set of the jobs. So come on. Man. I think I might actually go down and grab some of my potatoes downstairs. Okay. I see they're going to be a pain now. It wasn't it wasn't that hard to get them the first time to be carrot farmers. I think actually I could probably throw carrots at their feet. Throw a carrot at their feet and that would turn them into uh, carrot farmer. Now that I think about it, that might be the best option there too. I didn't see how many potatoes it said. I actually don't have any beets. I've never never farmed beetroots, I don't think, in this uh, this world before, so. Let's go back to the first one. I think he had beets and potatoes. He uh, lost his job, good. And he's got it back again, so... We'll just do that, we'll finalize him that way, so that way I have one that can at least take potatoes and beavers together. But basically I want the majority of these guys to be carrots. Carrot farmers galore. There's one. got beetroots. If they have beetroots or potatoes as a secondary, that'll be a blessing. Good technical wheel out there now. And Oh, well look at you. <laughs> yeah, this will be the hardest part. So I'll come back whenever I got a mod in, I suppose. Now I have all the farmers, uh, with carrots at least. So, except for the first one over here. This first one, uh, we'll keep him for now just to see where we get with him on potatoes and beets. Uh, I'm gonna have to grow some more potatoes first anyway, so that's gonna be a, that's gonna take a while. But uh, he's the only one I'm gonna have, I think, that has potatoes on him because the rest of them are either just carrots and bread, which I've, as you can see, I've finished some of them off or at least got them up to another level. So carrots and bread, and I got a couple that sell pumpkins or take pumpkins for trades, which is another thing I was wanting besides watermelons. Watermelons would be great. Get watermelons on one of these trades as well. That'll help out tremendously since I get a lot of watermelons. Come on. There he is. Carrots and bread. I think there's only like three of them that do carrots and wheat. Which is fine. So just in case I get too much wheat, I can at least trade wheat to them. So there's one. Maybe there's just two. Two. Three. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. So most of them are just carrots and bread, but it, which is fine. As long as they have carrots as one of the trades, that's all that matters to me. Uh, so for the top floor, uh, it's going to be all clerics. I'm going to wait and do them after I get a bunch of rotten flesh. And uh, then I'll work on them. But I've got all their stuff right here, so their little brewing stands are all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and run downstairs, I think, to get these, drop these emeralds off and stuff. And um, basically, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. The next episode will be, well, actually, the next episode will be live because I'm going to be building the crop storage building out over here, next to here, so I can start moving crops over from the field and I can start utilizing the field a little bit quicker. It's a whole stack of those. And... Um, then we can start selling crops a lot, a lot more efficiently. At least that's what I'm hoping to do anyway. So like I said, that's going to be it for the episode, guys. I will catch you in the live stream if you uh, catch it. If not, you'll be able to watch it anytime. I'll put it in the playlist along with the regular videos. 
and uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode or live stream.